right, y'all. It is time to take a form all four. At least Tim can't wait anymore. <laughs> unloading groceries and we have some mortar in the van and I thought hey I might as well unload that too we're gonna get back on this fireplace early early in the morning so want to make sure that Tim has everything he needs he's editing a video so I thought I would be helpful with my handy dandy wagon of course y'all sent it to me <laughs> so y'all see i'm using it i'm not you know carrying stuff back and forth using back breaking work but i do use it wisely for things that i need so i'm gonna get going unloading this mortar and getting it in emma so we can get started on this fireplace mantle i'm so excited for the wood stove and our first fire can y'all imagine ah it's gonna be so awesome so Anything I can do to help speed along the wood stove process, I'm happy to do it. So this is that self-leveling concrete or underlayment that I was talking about that I saw. That was on top, so I knew that he was gonna get that and that we needed that. We'll use that because um, the bricks are pretty thick and you don't want to go with that much grout because it could cause cracking and things like that. So you use that as the base layer, get everything locked in and level, and then you go on top with the look for your um, grout to do the whole German smear thing. So let's see what else he's got. So towel mortar, okay. So it's just the cement, the self-leveling cement underlayment, and the mortar. That's all he has right now. Let's get this unloaded. Whatever this is, mortar. I don't know, can I do three? What do you think, Noah? Think I can do three? Do this, do it to the edge. I can, I can put some at the edge. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. Okay. I don't know if that work, no. What if we just keep this one on top? Think we can do it like that? I'm, I'm afraid of putting it on the edge. It might, you know, be too heavy for the size. That's a good on this edge. This edge? Let's see if we can squeeze it all right, so we got everything unloaded from the van, and now we'll get it in Emma. Some helpers have arrived, so they'll help me get it in. brick work yep so now that he has all the bricks cut this is the next step and we'll get all this material in for him so that he can get started bright and early in the morning people knew her by her will to make it whatever she put her mind to Late night hours up the hill Serving coffee to strangers Talking about revenue She kept dreaming of a world Big enough for everyone Wish she knew it my 
must rain before it grows. She kept dreaming all the day, but a fly survived the wind, even though she knocked down the bush. All right, y'all, I had a few more minutes left in my day, and I'm putting up groceries, so I thought I would just bring you along for the inaugural the very first uh, grocery haul that I'm unloading in our brand new refrigerator. So, let's just admire how fancy it is. And it has a feature where when you go grocery shopping or whatever, you can do a chill boost and a freeze boost. So it gets the refrigerator and the freezer extra cold so that when you put your groceries in, it's supposed to cool them down faster. How fancy is that? I didn't even know that <laughs> I was getting that. But I've already put food in here from the barn, but um, we'll see how much more we can fit. <laughs> it's pretty much full of just the basic stuff, but we'll see how much more we can fit. I know that you're curious, I know that you're strong But life can be furious and things can go wrong You go, you go, we're better off tomorrow But who knows, who knows, if we get joy or sorrow Stay true to that fire in your heart and your soul. Don't drench your desiring what you can't control. We fly, we fly, try so hard to get there. And we might, we might be lost, but not forever. There's things in life you simply need to know But sun and rain and trust in letting go It takes a bit of suffering Sleepless nights and wandering Before you make it safely to the end The end, the end Well, like you got a couple more things to put in the pantry And then you'll be done So I guess we can pick them back up tomorrow when it's time to get back on this wood stove over here. And I'm excited. Megan, uh, while I was in there editing, trying to stay focused on my work. <laughs> and Megan got all of this uh, mortar and self-leveling concrete loaded, unloaded out of the van for me. So I can just get straight to work in the morning. So I just pick y'all up. First thing in the morning, it's going down. Wood, wood stove, wow. groceries, <laughs> all type of good things going on. Yes. Keep him fed, even though when he's working, he does not eat. I'm oh, like, yeah, no, you need to eat. So he I don't eat until I get done on the he weekend. Saves it all <laughs> to the weekend when I'm exhausted. He's like, Oh, what you gotta eat? What exactly. Gotta eat? <laughs> yep. All right, y'all. We'll just pick y'all up in the morning. I'll see y'all bright and early.
went to school for this, didn't you? Yes, I did. Yeah, Tim actually has a trade in what do they call it? A masonry? Brick Ma masonry. Yeah, brick masonry. Yep, so. That's why they call you a jack of all trades. <laughs> yeah. Literally. For real. Or tradesman. Tradesman, there you go. That's yeah. what it is. He has several yeah. trades. He has several trades. One in culinary, uh, horticulture, and uh, barbering. barbering and brick masonry. And surprisingly enough, you still all you, you use all those trades. That's rare, huh? For people that yeah, do what seriously. Because <laughs> I was thinking about how what I went to school for, and I do, you know, use it actually a lot because I homeschool the boys, and I, you know, teach at a school. But on the everyday basis, I'm not really speaking proper English. <laughs> Most of the time, I'm not using my skills. But, yeah, because, like, culinary, think about it. You smoke meat and do all types of things with the preparation of different meats, even all the way to, like, butchering your own cuts. And you get to do stuff that chefs dream about, like, have whatever cut of meat you want, you know? They don't teach you that stuff in culinary school. No. They get sued. They probably should have something. Yep, you cut everybody's hair. You cut your hair, the boy's hair. I'm trying to think of other ways you use your trays around here. Because we need them all. You know what? That's what farming is, actually. Being able to be a jack of all trades. You got to do a little electrical work. Yep. You got to do a little plumbing. Yep. I didn't go to school for those No. <laughs> I probably would have. <laughs> got to, you know, when you're a farmer, you kind of have to be a jack of all trades to be able to do a little bit of everything. You know, you got to be a veterinarian sometimes. Get some more of those down yeah. here so that I can start working. I got you. Is that the plop, splop yeah. method? Uh-huh. Trying to get it off in the corner so I'm right. Got you. Yeah. Probably, probably have it too thick as always. <laughs> it's about a peanut butter consistency. No, I'm talking about on the floor. Oh, yeah, laying it too thick. Trying to get it down there right now. Oh, yeah, you gotta work fast. Yeah, that's instructions y'all said to wait five minutes and then mix it again we didn't do that but those are instructions for laying the mortar on the wall and applying tile where it needed to quick set so I think that we're good because it's the perfect consistency so talk to me about why you put the ridges in the mortar. I think these are for like uh, air pockets mm -hmm. to eliminate the air pockets. I got you. So when you push it down, I, I think it's pushing to help them push the air out. Yeah, so instead of having an air pocket, you'll have Right. A, yeah, so I guess, I guess when you push it down, it has space for the air to escape. Mm -hmm. Now let it first brick. That's smart. All right. First brick. One down. One down. It's down. It's fishing. No turning back. <laughs> Level 
<laughs> this is still it's still a mix in there. Yeah, it's hard not to get yeah. I believe he laid all the bricks, y'all. That big white guy. But they still can move a little bit. Oh yeah, for real. Look at him. Oh man. No, it's good. Looks like it did before. Cause I, cause I was down there nervous. I mean, timid. Uh -uh. Tense was what you said. Tense, that's right. Now. <coughs> I didn't change. I was shy. Timid, timid is even worse than nervous or tense. Yes, awesome. Well, no, 
we uh -oh. have the uh, self leveling uh, ground, college, uh, cement. Because we're going to do self leveling cement like in the middle of the grout lines to make sure that we don't have to use too much grout for the German schmear. Because what happened is if you use too much grout, it may crack. So we're right. trying to avoid that. So we're going to build it up just a little bit in those grout lines with the uh, self leveling uh, concrete. Mm -hmm. Pour that in there about halfway and then fill the rest up with the grout for the German schmear. So uh, yeah, we're going to wait for this to dry and then we may be able to actually do the uh, self leveling concrete today, maybe. Uh, we don't want to move them and things like that. So maybe we can pick back up today <laughs> and uh, do self leveling concrete. But if not, we'll just pick y'all back up tomorrow when it's time to do self leveling concrete and then maybe the German schmear. So y'all just stick around and see what happens. <laughs> What's going on, family? It's dark and early in the morning, and I'm headed out. I was finna get ready to go out for. Now y'all can barely see me. The dogs are <laughs> wondering what I'm doing. I know y'all can barely see me when you walk back to the lunch before I go up into the dark. But yeah, I was just getting ready to head out for my morning jog, but I figured I'd go ahead and head to Home Depot uh, to get the, get a little, a little bag that you put uh, like grout in to get in, in in between the cracks so you don't get it everywhere so you don't have to smear it over the whole thing. And I'm going to go to Home Depot real early, like as soon as they open. I think they open at six. It's like five now, so I should get there right as soon as they open. I'm gonna go ahead and go to Home Depot and get one of those bags, and then get on back, do my morning job, try to get about a mile in, maybe not do too much, and then get on back to work on this uh this fireplace hearth. And uh, my goal is today is to get that German schmear done. But uh yeah, let me go ahead and hop in the van, head on to Home Depot, get one of these bags, and then get on back so we can get started. Depot a couple hours ago. Went ahead and got my jog in. Now I'm drinking some coffee. The good old cappuccino that Megan made for me. And uh, I'm just taking a little minute to meditate a little bit. Take a little time. It's kind of overcast this morning. And I'm just enjoying this good old coffee. I know y'all don't like my slurps, but uh, like, like one commenter said that uh, I work hard enough I can slurp my coffee all day <laughs> if I want to. But I'm going to go down here and check on the sheet because I got to do uh, errands later and go get uh, hay, get some more hay because uh, the ministry that donuts, donates us hay, they're, uh, you know, friends of alcoholics. Y'all have seen some of the videos we put out. They they might not have any hay this year to donate to us. So I'm just racking up on hay. I bought about, I think, 20 or 30 bales less. So low? No. The dogs got in trouble. They're in the cage. They're on punishment for, <laughs> for about 30 minutes. Then I let them out because they were chasing the chickens. And uh, one of our ducks went missing, so I'm I'm, I'm watching uh, Solo to see if he ate our duck. I don't think he did. Uh, raccoon or possum probably snuck up and got it. But I'm checking on the sheep because I just gave them their first hay for the year. And I'm trying to see if they like this hay because I'm going to go a little bit later and probably buy about 40 or 50 more bales because it's time. it's time to start feeding hay. The grass is, isn't growing anymore around here. It's not raining. It's starting to get, get chilly and cold. Uh, they worked on it a little bit, but... And they, they, they don't seem too impressed. <laughs> but I'm going to give them all day to see if they eat all that hay, see if they like it. If they like it, I'll go get some more. But if not, if they don't like it, I, you know, have to find some hay from somewhere else. 
I got it from just a local co-op around here. I'm not sure about, uh, you know, the history of this hay or anything, you know. Because one thing about the hay that you feed, it becomes your pastures, you know, because uh, the seeds that are in the hay, whatever type of grass it is, the sheep are going to digest it and then manure it out. And then they also, like, spread it around, you know, because they don't eat all of it. And then the seeds are planted in the pastures. And so, uh, you know, I'm a little bit hesitant about it because I don't know too much about it, about the hay and about the history of it. I'd rather buy it from a farmer around here. And uh, I'm not ready for round bells yet, but all I would need for the whole year would be about one or two round bells for these sheep. But uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm still getting square bells for now. So I need to find somebody that does square bells. There's not a lot of farmers around here to do square bells. Most of everybody does round bells. Yeah, just walking around, checking on the animals. Taking my time this morning before I get ready to start applying this German schmear. And it's a really overcast day, so I think it's gonna be a perfect day. So working the inside. Sometimes it's excruciating for me to be in the inside, you know, when it's beautiful outside and sunny. I want to be outside working on the tractor, cutting grass, you know, splitting firewood, sawing firewood, you know, doing something outside, working on fencing or, you know, working with the animals or something, uh, getting them in a better uh, condition, working on the barn. I can't wait for uh, this winter because uh, this winter I'm, I'm going to finish the barn off. Can't wait to have a roaring fire inside of Emma on the wood stove. And then I'll be able to come outside in the cold and winter storm and get good and cold and come back in to, to that warm wood stove heat. Ain't nothing like it. You know, one thing about that wood stove, it heats the, the floors, the furniture, it heats your body, your shoes, your clothes. It's not like the central heat in central air. Yeah. But uh, the sheep don't seem too interested in that hay back there. But uh, they're probably just waiting on grain. We, we haven't fed them grain the last couple of days. We're kind of... Uh, winding down on feeding them grain you know we're putting out minerals and baking soda and things now so they don't really need the grain the grain was just to get them the minerals and also get them to come to us but they're coming to us as you can see they they just follow us all around anywhere we go they actually got out one day somebody forgot to lock this gate right here behind me and uh we when we looked outside of the window we woke up you know because that's that's our window right there that one on the end and we woke up in the morning i opened up the blinds and the sheep were all out here eating grass, you know, and outside the fence. But uh, they just went right back in once I called them. You know, we just say, come on, sheep. And they come right in. Yeah, they they, 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 they stopped and turned around looked at me then. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to walk around a little bit more, y'all. Watch these sheep, see if they like this hay. Because I got to go look a little bit later and get, get a bunch more. And I also need to get grain for the for the pigs and everything. Just get, get, get stored up on feed. It's time to do another feed run. I'm going to finish my coffee, and then I'll pick y'all up. When it's time to get started on this German schmear. Megan and I, we actually talked about it last night, and we were going to do self-leveling uh, concrete, 
in, in the gaps first, you know, just take up a little bit of that space. But uh, we decided instead of doing uh, grout, because uh, if we would have did too much grout, it was a chance of it cracking. Because you know, there's big lines there, big gaps, you know, and that grout would have to fill those gaps in. Yeah. You know, that would, that, that, that would just uh, have a high chance of cracking because it would be so much grout. Grout is not really made to fill in gaps that big. But uh, we talked about it. And instead of doing the self-leveling caulk in there to take up some of that space and then grouting it, you know, so it won't be so much grout, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take this same white mortar that we used to glue the, um, the, the bricks down and we're gonna, we're gonna use that same white mortar for our, our German schmear. Because actually, that's actually how they do it with bricks. They use mortar to do it with bricks. Uh, you know, we were just gonna do it with grout because that was just some of the research that we did. Some people just doing DIY projects, they do it with grout. But you can do it with this this mortar as well. You know, you just have to make sure it's white. You know, so unless you want a gray <laughs> uh, German schmear. But yeah, we're just gonna do the German schmear, and, and, and that mortar it, it shouldn't crack as easily as that 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 uh that uh, grout would. And so we're just gonna do it with the mortar, fill in the gaps all the way, and then smear it over the surface of the bricks and uh, over the pavers. And uh, it's, it's different levels of German schmear that you can get because you can German schmear over the whole thing and then wipe it up with a wet, you know, uh, sponge and kind of keep wiping it until it gets to that desired, like, schmear uh, ratio, I guess is what, I, <laughs> what you would call it. But uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're just going to put it in the gaps and then kind of wipe it just, just barely onto the bricks. You know, we're not going to cover the bricks completely. But y'all will see all that. Let me quit talking about it and get to it. So let me get some uh, mortar mixed up and uh, we'll start this schmear. y'all I got this back little corner finished up I uh, actually went over with a sponge after I was done after I cut the camera off for a minute and that kind of like uh, I, I think I like that design a little bit better because I don't want to kind of lose my grout lines all together and so I like how it's kind of like a when I went over with a sponge it kind of sunk the, uh, the the mortar at least down into the the brick and that way we can still you know we still had that, that that brick look the shape of the brick and it doesn't just look like just one just flat, you know, surface. So yeah, I think that's the, the trick to it, is uh, getting it in there with the little squeezy thing, kind of cleaning off some of the excess, and then take, take, take a little wet sponge there, and then just lightly wipe it, and then it kind of smears it, because we want a little bit of that smear to be on the actual brick, you know, and not just in the grout line to give it that smear, but we don't want to cover the brick completely. Now in some German smears, they do cover the brick completely, but we still want to be able to see our bricks, you know. So that's kind of what we're going for. So I'm going to see if I can do another little section. And then I got to mix up some more mortar. Because I'm about out. Out that little, little batch there. So I'm probably going to mix up a whole bucket. Because I'm probably need a whole bucket to do it. And I'm going to get back to it. And just see how it turns out. Hopefully it turns out right. <laughs> so when Megan comes back, she's uh, proud of me. And she's not uh, looking like, what is that? <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to get back to it. When my life was bound in chains, yeah. you set me free. You set me free. Oh, oh, no. Making a way. He made a way for me. Yeah. He made a way for me. Yeah. 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 But first, I did a way. All my cool intentions. Yeah. My evil ways. And the lies. I was mixing on my knees. And picking and crying. My tears dripping from the acknowledgement of my sins and my wrongs. We ain't got ready for my task. Like the Lord, He set me free. No more thugging. No more no more talking on that green, no more sex until I'm married. What a challenge for me. But my real power. 
up in his dress where he can go and try. Never fall victim again, not by a long shot. See, victory is for sure for me. I resist temptation, living for Christ is my priority. Obeying his commandments, walking righteous, showing lords. And I'm asking for forgiveness as I speak if there's a flaw in me. Alright, got a little bit more done. Starting to kind of get the hang of it, as y'all can see. Got that German schmear going on. So I just need to get some more mortar mixed up now and keep on rolling. Yeah, it's looking pretty good so far. Like I said, I kind of, I kind of like that that detail where you can actually see the brick, you know, letting that grout sink down off in there a little bit. So I think I got to figure it out now, y'all. I'm gonna roll now. This is bad mixing up the mortar uh, for the concrete or the bricks. Maybe it's going to mortar and mix some more. That's how you do it. You gave up on that little white thing. Yeah, it's too hard. Work with this thing. Daddy, is a better way. Yep. Yeah. I wasn't able to get that, get the mortar in there by myself. You was gonna have to call us every time. Yeah. Some over there. We put these bricks down about uh, four or five days ago, probably. Yeah. Yeah, we laid them out first and then we mortared them down yesterday. Mm -hmm. Y'all help me unload them from, from the uh, band, didn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was like, don't drop the bricks. That's right. And we didn't drop them. Yeah, you did a good job. Dad, mm -hmm. called me out here to record for him. I was doing homeschool. How's your homeschool going? Good. I got through my whole book and I start to remind. I know one plus one is two. Okay. I knew that already. Yeah. And three plus three is six. That's right. Four plus four is eight. Here comes the sponge. So, uh, uh, and you rinse it out in the water.
Oh, I see you. You hook all the lines together with the sponge mm -hmm. and go to go straight to make it look nice. Uh, after, after we get done with this, we can take a lunch break. I mean, I, I, I'm getting t tired even holding the ca just holding the camera. For real. I get tired too sometimes I'm holding the camera, recording other people. You doing all the work while I'm doing this recording. Mm -hmm. All right. I think it's turning out pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm wiping some of that, that bulk off. Exposing my brick. I see you, like, seeing the, seeing the bricks make it, like, mm -hmm. see the brick. Mm-hmm. Because we don't want to cover our brick up all the way. You gotta be careful on these steps, they're slick. Whoa! Hey! Look at that one tire, man. <laughs> you finished mirroring. I'm exhausted. That was, that was some hard work, but I got oh, yeah. it done. It looks good. Yeah, it's still drying, but you can kind of get an idea. As it dries, yeah. it gets white. I like the smear. Mm -hmm. What it did with the bricks. Mm -hmm. No, it looks really good. Do you like it? I do. It looks amazing. I'm very, very happy with it. Tim was going over the fine-tuned details that <laughs> he had to go through to get it to this point. So, I love how the mortar's just a little bit sunken in like a regular brick would be. That just kind of gives it some added touch. And he's been removing some of the mortar um, because he says as it's drying, it's just becoming more and more white. So, he's just making sure that the brick is exposed. So, I'm liking it so far. I like the changes that he made to kind of give it that um, feel that we want, the look that we want, the real brick look that we want. So I'm excited about it and I just love how it's progressing. I can't wait to see it all come together and have our first fire. What we're gonna do is, because y'all can see it mostly done, but I still need to take that, that line that y'all saw I put down earlier uh, to keep the mortar from from falling out, you know, of the, of the front seam. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna wait till that dries a little bit, then we'll take that uh that, that wood and those bricks out of the way and we actually get a chance to see it like finished. Yeah. So uh we'll just pick y'all up in a minute once okay. that uh that mortar dries up a little bit and firms up a little bit and then we'll pull the, that those wood pieces that trim uh out of the way. Those forms is what I'm trying right. to say. Pull those forms out of the way and we'll really get a good look yeah. look at what it looks like. So, so we'll pick y'all up. up. Oh. <laughs> we'll pick you up in a minute and give you a final look. Alright y'all, it is time to take the forms off or at least Tim can't wait anymore. <laughs> we're just waking up from a nap and we're all kind of groggy and stumbling around. <laughs> but um... We think it's dry enough to at least just take these uh, wood pieces off that we have as forms, holding everything together. But we're excited to see how the front, you know, looks, how it turned out. So we're just going to go ahead and take it off. Ready or not, here we come. <laughs> we're going to do this. If I can ease it off without pulling a whole line of uh, wood. Uh, yeah, let's hope so. The bigger it is. There it is. What you think? It looks good. Got a little uh, extra you can kind of scrape mm -hmm. off. And that's the reason why I wanted to get it off. Why it's the appliable. Exactly right so I can do this right here. Yep. Yep. So you got some extra you can scrape off, mm -hmm. and I see a few pieces that need some. You can like stick it in, but like, like that right yeah, 
it's one uh, on the other side. It's a really big gap, but but yeah. So it looks good. Yeah, so it's still it's, it, it's so much more that it's still wet under there. Yeah, you still gotta but work with it a little bit. It's uh you know good enough to hold mm -hmm. itself up. You need to dress it up a little bit, you know. Yeah, make but, it look clean. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing about this German schmear is that there's no wrong way to do it. You, know? mm -hmm. you just kind of work with it. Yeah, you it's, get it's it. Very forgiving. Yeah, and you get it to your desire. You know, schmear, a little schmear, a lot of schmear. <laughs> However you want to do it. Yeah. Yeah, see how it's still moving. Mm -hmm. I see. Hopefully, it won't just start gooping out. No, I think so. I think it's solid enough to not goop out. And it'll be a piece of crown uh uh shoe molding, molding there. It's either a piece of shoe molding because that's the thing what we're trying to figure out now. Are we gonna leave this just natural? Mm -hmm. Or are we gonna put a piece of wood there that'll cover that whole thing? It'll be the same thickness, you know, uh, of the brick. And then it'll be a stained piece of wood, and that stained piece of wood can can be the same as the mantle yeah. piece up mm -hmm. top. So that's what we're trying to figure out now. If we wanna leave it just natural like this. Or put a piece of wood there and stain it and let it be the same color as the, the mantle. Mm -hmm. So uh, once mm -hmm. it dries well enough. But I think I like it like this. Yeah, I think so too. I think just the shoe molding would be good enough. Mm -hmm. Y'all let us know what y'all think in the comments. Oh yeah, I think that looks good. Doesn't it? Yeah. I'm going to let y'all know. This was some hard work. This has been... One of the hardest things I've done so far on him uh, sanding down the sheetrock and uh, <laughs> laying this stone here and getting mortar inside of it. Like are the two hardest things I've done so far. I don't, I don't know which one, you know, uh, it's harder right, right now. I tell y'all that at the end of the uh, renovation when we do the last video, we like talk about everything and talk about our experiences and kind of take you through it before and after. But I like it. Looks good. Mm -hmm. Well worked effort. Mm -hmm. Good. It's like it just looks so clean. Mm-hmm. You know? So let me give him one more shot. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. It's just like shoop, 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 you know. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I think we achieved the clean yet rustic look that we wanted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Looks good. All right, y'all, it's beautiful. I love it. I love it. Like I said, I I'm still debating on whether I want to board across the front or I just want to put a piece of shoe mold and just cover up that little edge. But I think it looks good, just like it is. Very, very sharp uh, angles. And uh, everything just looks good, clean, but also rustic at the same time. That whitewashed rustic. The other two boys are asleep. Yeah, and, uh, they just wake up from yeah. that nap. <laughs> <laughs> I think I hear Noah and they're tossing around. But uh, we're going to end today's video here. It's been a hard day, but a fun day. And uh, it's been raining outside. It's yeah. just perfect sit back and drink some uh pumpkin spice latte <laughs> cappuccino just one of them days i love it i love it but uh next we're gonna start we have to get our towel for the uh, back wall order uh we think we had a towel picked out and uh i'm still going back and forth on that as well because i just i just want it to be perfect you know i had this this vision in my mind about how i want it to look and i'm trying to like make sure i get it to that 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 vision and let that vision become a reality here we go into this video here and uh, I'm just excited about this process. And uh, we'll just catch y'all on the next one. It's IAG Farms. It's all about God! And Nick the Ruler. Cause when my life was bound in change, you set me free.